Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So keeping with the CNTC videos this, for this week, if um, you've missed any of them, I've had a new video go up every single day this week, uh, just kind of preparing for the CNTC, showing you guys some new products that are out there and stuff like that. Uh, today I'm gonna show you what's in my nail train case, what I'm bringing to the nail convention. So I will be demoing for Can West on Sunday for a couple hours, so I needed to bring some stuff for that. Um, I will also be taking a nail art workshop on the Monday, so I needed to bring some stuff for that as well. So I'm gonna show you guys my new train case that I'm gonna be bringing to the event, which I'm excited about because it holds a lot more than my last one. Uh, last year I did post a what's in my nail travel case and it's significantly smaller than the one that I'll be showing you guys today. So um, let's waste no time. Let me show you, I guess, how I'm packing it, what I'm bringing for it, my reasoning for everything. You guys are going to be here in my studio with me while I'm packing it. So that'll be a little bit different than last year's one. So let me show you my train case that I'm bringing to the event. Okay, so this is the train case that I'm bringing to the CNTC this year. I'm super excited for it. So I as you guys can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the one that I brought last year. I'll link that video in the description box below in case you're interested to see what my case was like last year, but this is significantly bigger. <laughs> but like I said, because I'm demoing this year, I'm gonna need to bring some more stuff. Okay, so when you open it up, it's got a whole bunch of these little compartments in it, which is what I really liked about this case. Um, and another thing, these little dividers can kind of move. So if you've got some kind of smaller containers you don't want to get mix, mixed up or anything like that, you can just move them to whatever you want. Um, I really like this because, especially if you wanted to put some brushes in here or something, at least it's, you can adjust it to the length of your brushes. Um, I thought that was really cool. And then another thing that I really liked about this case is the depth of the bottom here. So I can easily get one of my Light Elegance lamps in here, plus my e-file. Yeah, any of my large things will fit really nicely in here, and also you'll see down there that there is a key to lock it. So. Uh, that's really handy. So I'm really liking this case so far, but I mean I haven't packed it yet. So after you, we pack it here, we'll get a better idea. So I'm just going to gather my supplies and then we will pack this together. <laughs> okay, so for my electric file, how I'm going to travel with it is I'm just going to put it in a box with some like shipping styrofoam and this is my hand piece just wrapped all in a towel here. Um, if you guys watched my file video, you know that I'm like paranoid about dropping my hand piece. So <laughs> that's how I'm going to travel with it. I hope to someday get like a traveling e-file is kind of what I'm hoping, but they're pretty expensive and I would only use it like a couple times a year, so I just haven't invested in one yet, but um, this will fit nicely in the bottom here. Okay, and then I also am bringing my UV light. This is from Light Elegance. Um, what I'm going to do to kind of help protect those bulbs is I'm going to just stuff a towel inside here. I'm also, just for like an extra measure, I'm also just going to wrap my um, UV light in a towel too. It's probably not overly necessary, but... I don't know, you pay a lot for your nail supplies, so you want them to make it with you wherever you go. <laughs> I'm able to just tuck my light in the side here, so everything is really secure in there, which is really nice, fits perfectly. Another thing I'm gonna bring is an armrest uh, for, I'm doing some demos, like I said, so to have people rest. I like to set my station up as best as like it would look if I was doing it at my nail studio here, so um, this, will help me with doing my client or doing some demos and stuff just to have people rested on that. Okay, this is also something that I'm bringing. It's a, a brush holder and I'm gonna fill it with the brushes that I need. Um, for the course that I'm taking, all I need to bring is an overhead lamp, uh, a gel brush and a, an acrylic brush. So I don't need too many brushes for the course that I'm taking, but I do wanna bring a lot of brushes for demoing. So um, I'm gonna fill this all up with my brushes and then I'm gonna put this in here as well. Okay, so the different brushes that I am bringing, um, keep in mind this is for demoing and also for my workshop. I am bringing my favorite dotting tool which has just got the smallest head of life on it and I use my dotting tool all the time. Um, I'm bringing one of the new Light Elegance's acrylic brushes. Um, I've got a Crystal Nails acrylic brush for the workshop I'm taking. Light Elegance brush. This is just an old LCN, LCN Protec NA1 brush. Um, I use this one for glitter. Uh, Crystal Nails Aquarelle brush. Uh, my new Swan gel brush. This is my Crystal Picker Upper. Um, I've got three Amore brushes for art, and then I've got just a few kind of random art brushes over here that I might I might be using. So that's my brush holder. Okay, so I'm bringing some gloves to protect my nails. These gloves I get asked all the time about. Um, they're called Pink Pearl Gloves, and they're from Medline. And if I can remember where I got these from, I'll post a link in the description box below. But seriously, the only reason I bought these is because they're pink. Um, they are nitrile exam gloves, so they're like medical grade gloves. 
Um, but like I said, I only bought them because they're pink. And I carry two different sizes, a small and a medium, because my left hand, if you guys didn't know, is significantly smaller than my right. So I'm just bringing a couple of these. And then I'm also bringing some nail dust masks to protect against um, dust when I'm filing at the demo here. So um, these ones are from Danny Co. I have the green ones, but my friend, nail tech friend, gave me the pink ones. So I'm going to bring a couple of the pink ones. They're from Danny Co. as well. I just, again, just prefer wearing pink. So I'm going to bring a couple of these. Okay, next I have some of my liquids here. I'm bringing some 99% isopropyl alcohol, as well as some of my Can West, um, it's not called cleanser. Uh, the Can West Base Prep. Actually, I don't think I've talked about the base prep in a video before, but I'm, I'm really enjoying using it, so I'm bringing that, um, as well as a Light Elegance Cuticle Oil for at the end. And I've just put it in a bag here because it doesn't fit in these little cases up here. It doesn't fit in these little holders up here. So I am going to put it in the bottom, and just to kind of protect my stuff that's down there a little bit more, I just wanted to put it in a bag. This little thing too I'm bringing, it's so dusty, but this little thing is for my e-file, so I am going to bring that too. It doesn't fit very well there, so I'm actually going to keep it up top. Let us, I'm one of these ones. Okay. I'm also bringing a whole ton of business cards, so I'm going to put those in here as well. Okay, so these are kind of new to what I'm bringing. Um, I'm going to bring a couple mats with my logo on them. Now these are from Copyright Mats by Elise on Facebook. Um, and I think these will be really good for taking pictures of the demo nails that I do or taking pictures of the nails that I do in the workshop. Uh, I thought these would be really good to just have a nice background for them. So I'm going to bring these two. Okay, next I'm going to bring some of my favorite bits. If you guys have watched my e-file video, then you've seen these. But I'm going to bring my Mean Green from Atwood Industries just in case I have to remove any acrylic on people's nails. I'm going to bring this little bit here, which is meant to clean up under the nails. I'm also bringing my two, like, mandrels for holding my sanding bands. So, I'm going to bring those. Okay, I'm also going to bring some small scissors for cutting forms. And I'm going to bring some nail clippers here that I use for removing crystals, in case anybody has crystals on their nails that I need to remove. As well as these cuticle nippers, which I also use for removing crystals. I'm going to bring these tweezers because you never know when you're going to need a good pair of tweezers when you're doing nails. Okay. So I'm also going to bring some fine sanding bands. Most of the products that I will be uh, demoing and stuff will be available to me at Can West. However, I don't think they carry fine sanding bands at Can West and I do use fine sanding bands a lot. So I'm going to bring some of these. I'm just going to make this really small and put some in there. Okay, I also use um, toothpicks for a lot of nail art designs that I do, as well as Q-tips for cleaning up a lot of things. So I am going to bring both of these, and again, I think I'm just going to take one of these and like separate it a little bit. Okay, I'm just thinking for Q-tips, I have to go Q-tip holders at home, so I'm going to grab one of those and put those in here when I get home. Okay, so I'm not really sure what people are going to want me to show them on their nails, so part of this is just kind of random stuff that I might not even end up bringing. But a couple of things that I think I might use. I'm going to bring two wall tiles, which if you guys have watched my videos, I use these for uh, crystal glue as well as like painting palettes. So I'm going to bring two of these. And then I'm also going to bring, I just got these from the dollar store and they're just mini spray bottles. I'm going to fill one of them with... 99% um, isopropyl alcohol because you can do some cool uh, tricks with that and like sharpies here. And I'm going to fill the other one with my Can West post service wipe just so I have something a little bit more travel friendly to carry it in. There we go. Now if I had my label maker I would label these <laughs> but the Can West post service wipe has like a small uh, purple pinky tinge to it so hopefully I don't get them confused but um, actually maybe I'll just label the bottom of it with a sharpie here. Okay, so I just put a little C on the one that's a Can West post service wipe. I don't know if these will fit in here. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm also going to bring some paints. I'm going to bring my Orly Instant Artists, which are my favorite paints to paint with. Um, just a black and white, pink and purple, because those are like my most popular colors. Okay, and I'm also going to bring some bowls, just one for water, for painting. So I'm just going to bring one of these. Again, I just got these from the dollar store, um, but these are... Well, actually, these are kind of big, but this will work fine for doing demos. I'm going to bring my nail brush, I don't know, my nail dust brusher. <laughs> this thing works really well for removing dust really quickly. I'm also going to bring one of my pink um, Danny Co. dust remover brushes as well. I 
am going to bring a good pair of scissors. Uh, you just never know when you need scissors when you're doing nails. So I'm going to bring one of these as well. And when I go to the grocery store, I'm going to pick up one of those really small bottles of water, those Danico ones, to fill my bowl with water if I need it. So I'll just have like a little small one in here, but I don't have any on hand right now. Okay, I'm just going to bring some of my popular colors of Sharpies for doing certain work. I doubt I'll even use them. I doubt people even want to see Sharpie work, but you never know. Oh, and I also brought... Um, some pins. I use these for a lot of different art, um, these kind of sewing pins, so I'm going to bring those too. And then I'm also going to bring my grip and tip. I know you guys can't get this anymore, but I love my grip and tip so much, so I am going to bring it. Um, I cannot do nails without it, so I'm going to bring it. <laughs> Okay, this little holder I keep all of my wipes in, and I am going to bring it, like I said, I just kind of want to set my station up, like, sort of how it is at home, uh, when I'm working on clients, well, not in my home, but when I'm working on my clients, so I am going to bring this, it's just, I don't even know where I got this from, probably like a dollar store or something, but um, it'll just help me kind of set everything up the way that I want. I'm going to bring this from Light Elegance, it is one of their um, Light Elegance's pretties in gold, uh, you guys will see Selena ride and use this a lot, but um, I'm going to bring this just because I think I can do some pretty fun art with it. Um, I just got it in, so but I think people are going to be wanting to see how to use it, so I am going to bring it. And there's other colors that come with that too, but I think that'll be the most popular. I have this little travel to go water kit, and I am going to bring it. I don't know if I will need it at all. Uh, this is typical like how Talia packs, but I don't know, just in case people want to see how to do some watercolor or anything like that, I can I can bring it. This little thing is just magnetic. It holds the pins that I'm going to bring. Um, I think it'll just keep my desk nice and clean, so I'm going to bring that. I'm also going to bring my favorite stamping tools. Um, so I'm bringing my Conad like plate holder. I'm bringing my Conad scraper. And then I'm bringing my caption stamper as well as my MoU London stamper. If you guys have watched my stamping video, then you'll know that those are like some of my favorite Holy Grail stamping products. Now I do want to bring my clear jelly stamper, but it's kind of delicate. So I think what I'm going to do, so I have extra heads for my clear jelly stamper. So I'm going to take this head out and then I'm just going to bring my backup ones um, and then the holder here. So that way it shouldn't get damaged, but then I can still use my clear jelly stamper. And most of the plates and stuff will be provided for me, but I am going to bring my favorite floral plate just in case it's like sold out of stock or something like that. So in case people want to see that. Okay guys, so I think I'm done packing my train case for demoing and for my class. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not very good at narrowing things down, so I don't even know if I'll use half of this stuff or if there's even going to be room for it all, but I, I just didn't want to forget anything, right? So, and because it's my first time ever, ever demoing, I'm a little bit, I don't know, I'd rather be over prepared than like not prepared. I don't want to like miss and wish that I had had something. So that's everything. Uh, you can see that this train case holds quite a bit. Um, the only thing that I kind of wish is I wish just for like nail supplies that like you could almost fit some taller products up top here. That's kind of like my only my only thing is like I mean you can only have room for your small products so if there was maybe like a little bit more room here to keep some of your larger products that would be probably the most ideal case here. Um, I'm not bringing any nail polishes really or anything like that but there's no real slots or anything for nail polishes if that's what you're bringing so um, definitely like a really good art case I would say like if you're doing like a whole bunch of nail art and stuff but I mean it holds quite a bit like I'm gonna be able to bring a lot up to this show like heck I could almost do like people's nails just like on the streets with this thing sort of thing but I'm really excited to use it um, it's very sturdy uh, there's four different clasps on it so it's got the two up top here and then it's got on the sides here as well for to keep it all together so really nice um, and then it's got the little traveling handle here as well so super easy to transport super easy to carry everything around I think it's gonna be great for the show um, I do wish it was in pink I don't think they come in pink I think they only come in silver uh, but I mean I can always bling this out right like that's something that I could totally do with this case but I'm excited I think it'll be great for for the show if you guys have like a train case or anything that you really like comment below and let me know which one you have um, if you think this would work for like your traveling shows or anything that you do uh, comment below and let me know I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this case uh, make sure you're following me on all my social media if you're gonna be at the CNTC I will see you guys there bye